Hope you guys have been enjoying the ARC series so far. If you have, uh, thank you. Thank you for enjoying and leaving likes and comments and subscribing. Uh, but just so you guys do know, I do have a Twitter and I do have a Twitch channel. So I will leave a link down below in the description of how you can uh, go and follow me on Twitter and on uh, my Twitch channel if you so wish. Because I do play more than ARK. It's just some things like Fallout and uh, just like go and play some Call of Duty or play some Destiny or something like that. You know, it's just kind of, I don't really know how to record it, but I do know how to stream it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I will see you there. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Ark Scorched. Hope you're all doing well. So today's plan is to get into the chemistry station, since that is something I am very interested in and have yet to actually uh, make ever. So this should be pretty cool making it today. Uh, I'm not sure. I might go into another cave. Really haven't decided yet, uh, and get the third artifact that we need in order to summon the manticore, but we might just do decorations with artifacts until the time comes to where more people get onto the server and get some more tames, because as far as right now, it's pretty much just me. Uh, other people, they don't really get on too much. I've had some internet problems the last couple of days, so the server's kind of been meh, so that explains why I didn't get a chance to upload yesterday's video, so I apologize. But yeah, so let's get in to, oops, not weapons, let's get into, no, not weapons, again, structures, and crafting. So we have the metal, and we have the electronics, so we need 250 cementing paste, but we only need 110. Um, 100 spark powder, 250 crystal, and 250 polymer. Well, let's go ahead and, I guess, yeah, go ahead and grab 250 of this stuff, so split half the stack, shove it in there, lack of that. Go in here, put the 250 inside, and then we gotta get some spark powder, cementing paste, and polymer. Share. Let's see, how much chitin do you have on you? One, two, three, and 400. Okay, so that will give us 100 cementing paste. So let's go ahead and put that in there. So we're gonna need four, eight, 1200. All right. 1200 more cementing or chitin keratin, so let's go down to stairs. And oops, there it is chitin keratin. Nope, that's oil. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab 1200, 3, 4, 5. Oh god, it's gonna be all of it. <laughs> oh boy. Oh well, I need to go get some polymer anyways, which will allow us to get a lot more chitin since. The organic polymer coming from the mantis. They're bugs. Oh, that's propellant. Okay, here we go. Go ahead, just shove 400 of it in there. We're gonna shove another 400 in uh, here. And then, well, I guess, go get some rocks on agate. And then, I guess I'll get some polymer. Get the stuff grinded down and bring you guys back once I have all the supplies. Alright, so here we are. Just gonna go ahead and grab a stack of this spark powder. And I've already added the cement and paste. I already went and got all the organic polymer, so we have everything we need. So let's just go ahead, turn this bad boy on, get to crafting, and make the chemistry bench. All right, maybe this will give us a level. That would be pretty cool. Okay, looks like I got next to no XP. That's lovely. All right, let's go ahead and put this into our hot bear. So, does this require power to actually work? That's kind of... Uh, place material is to transmute chemical substances with extreme efficiency. Hmm. So... I guess I put it here? And it's powered! Ah! Well, that's ugly. Hmm... You know what? I have just the thing. Structures. Electrical. Let's see. Let's make... Ten of those? Okay, so... Let's see. What do we need for some ten pass? So, 16 and then 32. Um, ah, 
so I go on, okay, there we go. 48 and 96 of those. Let's go ahead, I guess, put them in here. And then, I guess, um, huh, how, how do I do it? Huh, transmute resource, oh, it requires gasoline and power, okay. The good thing is actually making gas for the generators just a second ago. So that's pretty dandy. Alright, let's go ahead and put the gas in there. Turn it on. So that can make three? Oh. Fancy, look at that. Makes bubbly sounds. That's pretty cool. Oh, damn! That three made 18? Well, let's take the rest of this, too, then. And let's make more, because, holy crap, that was fast. Alright, let's just go ahead and throw that one in there. And then... So, one makes... Oh, my God. Six. So... Okay. Way faster. And... Oh, you're already done being made. Damn it. Ooh, actually. Let's grab 200 spark powder. And then 200 charcoal. And let's go ahead and put it in there and see how fast it makes gunpowder. So this should give us 200 gunpowder. Let's see how much it's going to actually give us. Oh, Jesus. Look how fast that is. Dude. That is amazing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Huh. Four and four. So it took... Oh, hmm. So, wait a minute. Does that mean I get less? Because I put four... Okay, hold on. And then to make gunpowder in here, it's a one-to-one. -one. Hold on. So... Oh, no, okay. I only did 200, so then you get 300 back? Okay. I want to try that again, just to make sure I'm not just being stupid, so... 200 spark powder, and then 200 charcoal. Let's turn this off. Alright, so get the charcoal in there and the spark powder, just to make sure, because, like I said, I thought I had put... Okay, no. So I did only put 200, so you actually get more back than if you were to use the uh, mortar and pedestal. Yeah, instead of getting 200, it looks like I'm going to get 300 again. Okay. So it's definitely worth it. <laughs> nice. Alright, cool. So we got ourselves one of them. Nice, handy-dandy chemistry stations. Looks like nothing's going to be much of a problem now when it comes to uh, making stuff. Let's see, do we have any hide in here? A little bit. Cool. Let's get this hide and... Another stack of oil going for some more gas, since we have so many things that require power now. Let's go ahead and get some hard in the oil in there, like I saw. Alright, so as that's getting made into gasoline, well, I guess. I don't know. The chemistry, the chemistry station is actually pretty cool. A lot cooler than I expected it to be. Okay. Well, I guess let's take a ride on Skaza and go kill it. Okay, so I don't know why I said I was going to go kill stuff with Skaza. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Oh, there's a rock golem. Um, we need to get metal. So, I was just going to get some around here, but I do know there's a lot more over here by uh, Green Tower. So, we're just going to go and snagger some Egyptian metal. I'm kind of curious if there's any uh, oil veins that are going to be nearby. Ooh, look, metal already. I told you guys that there was metal over here. Okay, not sure why my Skaza decided to be right there, but okay. Gonna hop down. Get our handy dandy pick. And get us here from me up. See, I didn't know it was going to be actually this close. <laughs> I was expecting a little bit further away. Alright, let's dump our stone. I guess we might as well put our raw metal in this guy. Let's see, let's drop what we don't need, which is a lot. 
like all this spoiled meat, we're never going to use it. I mean, we will, but we can just get more at home. Uh, he can't hold as much as I was hoping. Hmm. He can't hold much at all. It's my first time taking him out to get metal. Usually I just use the, uh, what you call it, the Argent, but this guy's much faster. You know what? Fuck it. We'll take this metal home, and then yeah, we'll just do a few metal runs. Shouldn't take too long to fill up the forges. It's probably going to be a lot quicker than trying to get the metal from up here. Usually it takes me about an hour or so to uh, get enough metal up here. What level is that rock worm? Ooh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? There. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Why do all the high level shit like spawn on top of my mountain? What the fuck? That's fucking pretty badass though. Looks like we might get ourselves another rock golem here real soon. <laughs> Alright. So we're just gonna drop the metal off, make some metal runs, and then I guess make up some more bullets, some more rockets, and all that good jazz. Get ourselves ready and prepared for another game. Okay, guys, so check it out. I wanted to make it look nice, but yeah, no, I fucked up. <laughs> look at it. It's even uglier than before. It's just like this trifecta of ugliness and just exposed wires. Ah, fuck my life. <laughs> Oh well. This little guy, you almost have a level, homie? Yeah, you do, little lady. Alright, so I got all the metal. It's all cooking up now. Uh, I'm using spark powder to smelt it. Um, let's see. Agate, what do you have on you? Do you need sulfur, homie? Oh, you might have pelt. Got so much meat on him. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's take that and Go over here. God, look at all. See, look at all that spoiled meat. Told you guys I didn't need it all. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we got all that back in there, lack of that. We'll just take the stone. Hmm. We'll give him some stone. Yeah, we'll give him a little bit. But I want to keep a majority of it. Drop that sand. We don't need sand. Get out of my life. We're going to go take the stuff up to the chemistry station because I'm in love with how fast it breaks shit down. It's pretty amazing. Okay, so let's bust some stone. Get some chitin in there. Some more stones. Get in. Oh, shit, I have sulfur on me. I could have put in his inventory. Stupid me. Alright, power on. Ooh, eight more. Oh. What's that? We got a storm coming? Oh, it looks like we got ourselves a heat storm coming. Come on, little buddy. Alright, that's nothing to worry about. Heat can't keep us down. Because we got ourselves a handy dandy water spout. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I'm giving this gas sulfur. Hey, oop, nope. There you go. Have some sulfur, friend. Yeah. Mr. Agate, he's in love with his sulfur. Alright, so. We got Duke going. He's two hours away from Imperat. Ah. So check it out. I did get some milk for him before I started recording, which I should have recorded getting the milk. But oh well. Um, check out his stats. B91% imprinted so far. 7100 health. 1300 stamina. Oxygen food. Whatever. 587 weight. 149% melee and 118% movement speed. That's with the 91% imprint. Once it gets to 100, it should be pretty ridiculous. Duke's gonna be amazing compared to Skaza. But Skaza's pretty cool too. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the poison wyvern, but I can't wait to experience what the fire is like. Because poison's cute. Because you can do that. And it just obliterates shit. Especially with the uh, 502% melee. Damn, how much XP do you have on you? 55k? Damn, I used you a lot. Do you even realize? <laughs> Alright. So, chemistry station is up and running. We have metal coming along. Oh, yeah. But yeah, check out our metal reserves. We're definitely running well. I mean, we've got only a couple stacks of 200. Will you shut the fuck up, Ringo? You're fucking annoying. 
I mean, those things are cute and all, but oh my god. I swear they get on my nerves. <sighs> Spark Patrick Calendar. Okay. So, let's see. What should we do? What should we do? Well, we're waiting for the metal to smelt. Hmm. Could show you guys fishing, but I'd have to find a pond with water in it. Nighttime fishing? Nah. We'll wait till morning. So I guess I'll have to make a chair and a fishing rod. So what do we need for the fishing rod? Fish. Oh, I already know it. Okay, so is it miscellaneous? No. Is it a weapon? No, it's not a tripwire. Ranged? It is a ranged weapon. Okay. So we need wood fiber thatch. Easy. Easy, easy. Alright, here we are, guys. So it's day now. It's actually funny enough is she that uh, <laughs> I'm over by Diamond Wings or Michaela's house and uh, <laughs> she already has a chair here in the water because it looks like she was already fishing. That's actually kind of funny. It seems like this is the only place with fish too is over by her house. So let's go ahead and turn this chair around. Let's go ahead and get our fishing rod and get our bait on said fishing rod. So I've never done this before, so okay, so we gotta sit. Alright, and there we go. Boop. So how do I know? Hmm. So what do I just sit here? Uh how does this work? Okay. Um hmm. Oh dang, look at all those fish. Okay. I... But... Uh... There we go. Splash. Okay. I'm curious though, like, how do I know when it works? Hmm. Wait. I guess we'll just sit and wait and see what happens. Oh my god! Okay, so a little mini game pops up. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, we're fucking fishing! Reeled in, you caught a coal, level 40. Oh shit. Okay, so we got 40 fish, we got a crystal, we got some metal, we got a stone, and some charcoal. Huh. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, here we go for another one. So yeah, it didn't take that much longer after I stopped recording for a fish to just start biting on it. That's pretty cool, the little mini game pops up, you gotta press the buttons to, uh, <laughs> to reel it in, that's fucking legit. Fish is pretty cool. I almost wonder if her chair is better than my spot. I almost feel like it is, and I should have just sat in her chair. But that would have been rude, I am a guest in her water. <laughs> Alright, so hopefully it won't take too long for another fish to get attention onto our fishing rod. Look, silk pearls right underneath me. Yeah, I wish I could do this in the water in front of my house, but for whatever reason, like I said, this is the only place with fish that I can find. Oh, here we go. Ah! Shit! I pressed the wrong button! Son of a bitch! Rah! So you press the wrong button, you fail. Alright. Splash. I was not expecting to press the wrong button. I thought it was going to hit BY again, not B. Oh well. We'll just go for another one. Hopefully we get something good, because uh, Buddy Crip, he was telling me that you're able to actually get some pretty high quality blueprints from fish, at least from uh, on like the island in the center map, you're able to get some decent blueprints off of uh, Mega Piranha in the saber tooth salmon apparently the coal that which only take regular tree sap are kind of like the low tier of fishing so take the good with the bad i suppose oh here we go a b right 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 a x y nailed it all right so looks like we got some pelt a gunpowder a cementing paste <laughs> 
Well, that was pretty cool. Fishing is pretty all right. I cannot complain. Here, let's go ahead and clean up our... Oh, we can actually pick it up. Noise. Can we pick her chair up? No, but we can sit in it. Huh. So that's pretty cool. Look at all these tiny little fishes. Dang, no... Ooh, that's a big old one. No, that's not really. But yeah, so that's fishing, guys. Yeah, today's episode's been kind of tame. I apologize, we didn't really do much. Uh, kind of running out of things to do on Scorched Earth without any friends. I mean, there's nobody coming on the server lately. I guess maybe they've just gotten bored of it. But uh, soon, we are going to uh, move to the center into the Primitive Plus mod. And we're going to get into that here in a few days. Uh, like I said, Scorched Earth is just kind of running out of things to do on it. There's really not as much to see and do as there is on the island and on the center just because, well, it's mostly all desert and there's only a handful of, uh, of animals that were added to this map. So that's going to be it for today's episode. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you want to, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more awesome ARC action.